What's up, baggers? I'm Anthony Ione, back in the lab on another episode of Cornhole 101. Cornhole 101 would be a library of quick to the point content for players newer to the game out there, targeting the basics in rules, regulations, terms, and gameplay. After setting yourself up with the equipment we discussed in episode one and two, you are now ready to set up your cornhole court. On either side of the board, we have what we call a pitcher's box. Now this is defined by three feet wide and four feet deep and makes up the area that I'm allowed to pitch from. The very front of the board is what we'll call the foul line and this defines the very front of the pitcher's box. The exact same setup is located directly across from this box at a distance of 27 feet from the front of this board to the front of the other board. Now let me reiterate that. Boards are separated by 27 feet front to front. That entire setup is gonna make up your cornhole court. Now when playing indoors or even outdoors of under covering, account for a vertical clearance requirement of a minimum of 12 feet. The straight line across from one pitcher's box to the other is gonna be called a lane. Now in doubles play, your partner is gonna stand directly across from you in that lane. And then in singles play, you will walk back and forth again, staying in that same lane. So your doubles partner will never stand diagonal from you on the other side of that pitcher's box. And in singles play, you will never cross over and again throw from the diagonal of that box in the same game. That's gonna do it for today's Cornhole 101. For more advanced, quick to the point content, check out the tips and tricks series. And for a more in invested deep dive into technique, strategy and analysis, check out the series titled Cornhole Science. All this content can be found on the Cornhole Science Facebook page, as well as the Cornhole Science YouTube channel.